Hi, uh, my name is Matti Islander. I recently graduated from the European Mining Course Master's Program. And I'm here to tell you about my experience through this EIT labeled Master's Program. In this presentation, I will first uh, talk about how I ended up here. So why I want to work in the mining industry, why I chose the European Mining Course as my Master's Program. Then I will reflect a bit on what skills and competencies I gained during my studies, or I think I gained, and then reflect a bit on what I hoped, uh, what I now hope that I would have uh, gained during my studies. So first off, how I ended up here. So here you can see on this slide my career path uh, up to this point. And when you look at the time before the European mining course, uh, there's, you may wonder why mining? There's no hints about that anyway. <laughs> and when I started my bachelor studies in 2016 in energy and environmental engineering, I had very little idea of what I wanted to do when I graduate. I'd chosen this bachelor's track as it was uh, an area where I could work to preserve the environment, which I thought I could build my working career on. Then during my bachelor studies, I started to direct myself towards geoengineering, and I did two internships on tunneling projects, which introduced me to rock engineering and rock excavation topics, which I found very interesting. <coughs> And this was sort of a bridge towards mining as well. So in 2019, I decided to apply for the European mining course. Um, I will elaborate on why I uh, applied for this program a bit later. But when I started the, my master studies, I was not sure if I wanted to work in the mining industry in the end. I saw that the EMC also gave me an extra option of working in the mining industry, or if I choose to, I can still work in rock engineering projects. Well, during my master's studies, it came more and more clear that I do want to work in the mining industry. And I did an internship at Bullied and Kylölahti mine, which was also uh, very um, motivating and um, insightful. And then in 2021, so this year, I did my master thesis at Terrafame, which is an open pit mine in uh, eastern Finland. Yeah, so then a few words about what is the European mining course for those who may not be familiar with it. Uh, it is an EIT labeled or was, as Fabio told yesterday, that it's not an EIT labeled uh, program uh, no longer, but move on from that. It's a tri triple degree master's program, so there's three universities organizing it. You have Aalto University from Finland, uh, RVTH Aachen from Germany, and TU Delft from the Netherlands. Uh, and from Aalto University, you have two different schools involved in this master's program. So School of Chemical Engineering, which provides mineral processing studies, and School of Engineering, uh, which provides uh, geological studies and rock mechanics, for example. And this uh, master's program is advertised that it covers every aspect of the life cycle of mineral resources. And I think it did uh, fulfill this promise from the perspective of a mining engineer in the end. So why did I then choose the European mining course? Well, when I was uh, making the decision what master's track I would do, I received advertisement for this master's program. And this advertisement included uh, a few videos made with EIT and some websites that gave information on where you can work when you graduate and what can you expect from this master's program. And also the advertisement made me realize the importance of raw material production, as was uh, talked in the uh, first present keynote presentation today the importance of raw material production in the future, especially, is increasing a lot. I also felt that this um, 
this area was neglected in some parts. As in my bachelor studies, I had very little uh, teaching on the mining industry or the raw material um, production. And most bachelor students in my bachelor's track were going towards energy engineering as it was the area where you prevent climate change. But as you, uh, as I found out, it's uh, you need a lot of raw materials to make this shift towards more sustainable energy sources. So I found that this was an area where my input could be needed and I could make some difference. Um, then another reason uh, I chose the EMCs was I wanted to improve my soft skills. I wanted to challenge myself and I wanted to uh, have some change uh, because I was not 100% uh, satisfied with my bachelor studies and how they were going uh, at the time. Also, I saw that EMC offered a more broad education, which would give me more flexibility in my future working career to do more things as the working career is, it is a long, a long time. Uh, then EMC also offered a more, more industry involvement in the study, so more excursions, more information from the industry towards the students, which I found very tempting in this master's program. And a large thanks to this goes to the EIT support for these master's programs. Um, and the final thing that really tempted me in the European mining course was that a team of students goes through the program together. So you start at Aalto University, you get to know each other already there, then you move on to Germany and then from there to Netherlands to Delft. And this way you really get to know the people you're studying with and you can make some lifelong friends as well. Um, and the next slide will illustrate uh, the last two points. So this is my EMC cohort uh, visiting the Puha Salami mine uh, in 2019, in October 2019. And there's our two Aldo University professors in the orange jackets and then there are my uh, EMC cohort. And we were a unusually uh, small group. We only had 11 students and we also only had um, people from three different countries. So Finland, uh, Germany and uh, the Netherlands. Uh, so it was a bit of an unusual EMC cohort and in the diversity matter as well. Yeah, then I would move on to the reflection part. Uh, what skills and competencies do I think I gained during my studies? And on the left side on my slide, I've listed topics. Um, I think I gained some competency in during my studies. And it's not an exhaustive list. It's uh, more to illustrate that we did go from mineral resource exploration through geostatistics, uh, resource and reserve estimation, uh, to feasibility study stages, how the mining operation progresses from there. How would you start up the mining project? We had a project course uh, in the Netherlands where we needed to consider how would you build a mine site? How would you ramp it up, up to full production? And then we also had the operational stage, so rock mechanics, mine design, planning, optimization, courses, all the things you need when you are working at a mining operation. Um, and finally, even the closure of a mine site came in with the mine waste course, which was very important as well. Um, of course, I'm no expert on any of these topics, but I think the studies gave me curiosity and motivation and some tools to start learning more about all of these topics, which I think will be very crucial in my future working career and gives me adaptability as well um, 
to change my working career in the direction I really want to go in the different parts of the career that's to come. So on the right side of my slide, I've listed some skills that I uh, developed or uh, improved during my studies. And the first one is programming skills. Uh, and I think this will be very crucial in my uh, future working career, as programming skills is not just about learning how to code. It's also about learning a new way to solve your problems. How do you formulate your problem so that you can solve it through programming and optimize your own workload a bit? Uh, then uh, project skills. I, uh, we had a one large project during each semester uh, during my study. So in Aalto University in Germany and uh, in Delft, we had one large project. And of course, these project courses were not uh, the most uh, fun at the time because they take so much effort, so much work. But in hindsight, when you look at it, uh, you really, really learn project management skills, time management skills, prioritization, where do you put your effort and most of your effort and how do you make it a cohesive project in some manners as well. And then, of course, teamwork skills were de developed. Our groups always changed for each semester, so we didn't get to just work with the same group each semester as well. Um, then international skills, and what I mean by this is, well, I, th I would say it's mostly the confidence in my English la language capabilities. I think I was pretty good at the English language before the MC, but the fact that you have to speak it makes you more confident. And I don't think I would be here without the EMC giving you this keynote presentation as well. Um, then soft skills, I do think I improved them during my studies, although not as much as I would have hoped for because uh, Corona prevented a lot of the um, events where I really could have practiced these skills as well. And then I received some new perspectives during my studies. And well, first, I received a new perspective on um, how I myself typically solve problems. Because when we started the studies, we were a group of students with quite different backgrounds, uh, different background knowledge. So that meant that we had quite different ways of solving problems and that really made you reflect also on how you yourself um, solve problems. And then I received a new perspective on the German and Dutch cultures and how these differences in the cultures really affect how the education is undertaken in each of these countries. So then, uh, in hindsight, what would I change um, in the European Mining Course Master Studies, if I could now go back in time and change anything from it. Well, the first thing that is uh, <laughs> pops into my head is, of course, the all the excursions events I missed because of Corona. But that's just an unfortunate happening that you can't do nothing about. So move on from that. Um, in the Course contents-wise, I think the European Mining Course was a good cohesive package in a way. And I would not go about changing uh, any specific course or that in that matter. But I also asked the opinions of my peers um, about what, what they would have liked to learn uh, more on during their studies. And I got very different answers from different parts of the life cycle, different stages of the life cycle of mineral resources. Someone wanted to maybe learn more about the exploration stage. Someone wanted to learn more about the operational stage. And um, this made me think that having some elective courses in 
the uh, studies would be very good, as different students have different um, interests during the studies and that develop uh, during the studies as well. Um, because at the like as the EMC currently is, we have a determined set of courses during each semester, so and there were no elective courses included. Um, yeah, and f as a final ending note, I would like to encourage other people who are considering joining such uh, triple degree programs to do it. It is a great opportunity and you might think that there's a lot of bureaucracy and the practical matters is challenging, but uh, the fact is that you get a lot of help from it for those things. Practical matters, uh, for example, when I, I was moving to Delft uh, during Corona times, I got a lot of help from my Dutch peers on what do you need to consider and so on. And even uh, my fr friend actually, they picked, uh, picked us up from the airport. So <laughs> that was very nice as well. So it is a great opportunity and uh, I would suggest to go for it. And I think that's all I have to say now. I want to thank you for your attention and also thank the organizers for having me here to have this keynote presentation. Thank you.